You know what time it is? You know what time? It doesn't matter what time it is because bullshit works 24 hours a day, seven days a week around the clock. But that being said, let's talk about it. Look, there's a show called South Park. A lot of you love it. A lot of you are its vintage critics. A lot of you have a genuine love-hate relationship with the show. But at the end of the day, we're talking about a show with episodes like Tolerance Camp, Fat Butt and Pancake Head, a whole bunch of offensive, asinine, and inane shit that goes well and beyond the normal and necessary means of comedy. That being said, they've come out with a video game, a sequel to their last endeavor, but this one is called Fractured Butt Hole. Think about that name for a second. Fractured Butt Hole, like a fractured, broken ass cavity, an anal cap, something that is completely shattered, chapped asses, gluteus maximus fractured. We are talking about something that clearly does not care about the normal and proper means of advertising for itself. Doesn't matter, right? We are talking about people who give no fucks. Like, look at the floor. Where are the fucks that South Park gives ever? In show, I don't see the fucks. I have lost the fucks. I don't see the fucks. Reason why I say all this isn't to disrespect anybody out there who is looking to be a champion of social justice. But if you are looking for social justice, you're looking for this game to be the platform of equality, you have a better chance of finding my ass a clan rally, okay? We, I'm out here with the White Lives Matter movement, baby. Woo. Hey, Dor, what's up, man? You white, you cool, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But this chair, though, you're not. Might have to square up. I don't trust him, man. He's shady. Look at him already reaching for my pockets. That's the type of shit that you were to, you, that's a South Park joke. That is some shit that they would put in South Park. Some of y'all right now are already offended saying, oh, look at this token ass motherfucker. Y'all already going ham. And that's the problem. South Park probably just wasn't meant for you, bruh. Maybe you should go out there and just play Mario Odyssey. <laughs> By the way, Mario Odyssey is a fucking champion fucking game. Mario Odyssey is godlike. But I digress. South Park has been doing offensive shit forever. Don't want to work on their show anymore? Well, it's time to kill you. You're going to defecate all over yourself. You're going to get raped by mountain lions. Look at Chef. Let's be honest. That was like a huge thing for like a month and a half. People just say, oh my God, can't believe they killed him like that. Even though they kill Kenny every week, they kill children on the show. They do fuck shit on that show all the time. So maybe some of you are like, all right, what brought this video up, Priyan? What is this? Well, as you guys have seen on Twitter, there's been a couple of news articles that have come out and people are saying... You know, I decided to play as myself, a black human being, or in some cases, a trans human being, and I feel as though I was disrespected. I feel as though South Park didn't, didn't handle the issue very tactfully, and therefore, by process, uh, I just gotta say that the game in and of itself is, is terrible, man. I just, I don't, it's South Park. South Park. South Park. There really shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to explain anything beyond this point of, it's South Park. I mean, if, that, if that's the case, then you might as well just jump in the stupid chair. You know what? On well, second thought, that is, that is way too good of a chair for you. This is your chair. This is what you deserve, see? There is no height adjustment. The wheels don't even work. The rotation's all fucked up. There is no spin. This is what you deserve. Clearly. Because we're at a juncture now where people are being offended for nothing. You're sitting here saying, one article went as far as to say, you know, video games should be an escape from our problems. This shouldn't be the goddamn struggle. Then by the end of the article, they're saying, you know, South Park didn't really do a good job of making the black character go through any individual struggles. You know, struggles in which I would find myself in real life. It would have been a good chance to educate white folk on the struggle. Struggle exists, absolutely. But you went to South Park. And you wanted South Park to be your advocate, to teach people about the struggle. Get out. Just leave. Hallway of shame. You don't even get light. Matter of fact, cut this light. You, no. You go off into the shadow realm and be alone with yourself. I don't care what you do when you get out there. You, if you die, well, hey, man, look. Greener pastures await you when you ascend to heaven. But that aside, it is hot as fuck in Georgia. So I need to bring this video to a close. That being said, I'll wipe my brow for the final time and say this. If you are looking for a game like South Park, or maybe when Family Guy gets another game, if you are looking for that genre to be the advocate of social justice, I got some news for you. 
The next time you want to cool off, the next time you want to get nice and cool, buy a heating unit. Oh, you're still here? Yeah, see, that whole thing that you guys are probably yelling in the comment section about, about not even watching the video, who are like, how could you spew that token rhetoric? How could you dare say those blasphemous things about your own people when you were talking to the idiot chair V1.0? There's a character in the goddamn show of South Park called Token. Yes, that was the joke. God, you people, this is the chair you deserve.